EA just confirmed that Road to the Final is coming this Friday. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, if you are new to FIFA or maybe you just forgot, Road to the Final is a UCL themed promo. And essentially what we're going to get is a bunch of brand new promo cards that act almost as once to watch items act in the sense that they are live items and they basically get upgraded due to wins in the Champions League. We've been getting this promo for the last few years and to be honest, I think it's one of the better promos of the year, not because of the content we get, but because of how the content kind of adapts and upgrades over the time. And it usually ends up in getting a few really nice rated cards in a few months from now, which I'm excited for. Now, this is what the upgrade system looked like last year in FIFA 20. And I think we'll get a similar upgrade system in FIFA 21 as well. So on event launch, the card got an upgrade basically an inform style of upgrade. So for example, Jane Sancho went from an 84 to an 86. If they qualify for the knockout stage, that's an 87. If they win the first knockout game, it's an 88. Qualify for the quarters, 89. Qualify for the semis, 90. Qualify for the finals, a 91. And qualify, or oh, sorry, even win the Europa Champions League, a say 92. Now, that doesn't mean that every card we get is going to follow the exact same 87, 88, 89. It means it's relative to their card. So for example, if we get a card that's got an 87 base card and they upgrade the uh, six times that they can get to, they can go from an 87 to a 93, essentially. Um, so that's how it's going to work. It's going to be a plus one on the same basis to, you know, knockout stage, uh, qualify for the the group stage, uh, sorry, qualify for the knockout stage, win the first knockout game, qualify for the quarters, semis, finals, X, X, X. So that's kind of how it's going to work. Now, I think EA will drop it in a similar way where they'll drop a team one and team two like they did last year. And I think that it's going to mean that we're going to get Probably some really nice cards that can get some really cool upgrades. And given the last couple of years and how it usually works, I think we're going to get some really, really nice cards. Now, this is last year's uh, Road to the Final or the Team 1. I believe they did two teams last year. Uh, we got the likes of a Road to the Final. Kante, Mane, Dybala, Handanovic, Son, uh, Alan, Komen, Dembele, Sancho, Mares, Neres, Eder, Militao, Vass and Wendell. Quite a nice array of different positions and different players and of course a lot of these got upgraded based on how they did in the Champions League uh, and obviously as we all know Bayern won the Champions League therefore uh, Komen got the biggest upgrade out of all of these cards and got to a 90. I think he got to a 95 because they redid it a little bit due to the fact that obviously uh, the the circumstances within football changed and the Champions League got pushed back a few months so EA upped their ratings a little bit which I thought was pretty cool um, so I think Komen got like a 95 rated card for winning the Champions League which is I thought was a really sick card um, but I like the concept I think the concept is a really good concept and I'm going to show you guys my predictions for the road to the final this year I mean predictions quite a strong word I kind of just like I've put together a bunch of cards from a bunch of different teams that I think we could possibly get what I did was I went through the the teams that are in the Champions League this year um, due, I just went on the Champions League website and saw the different groups and stuff and I put in uh, plays from teams that I think EA will put in so I would love to see like a Marcus Rashford. I've gone with uh, an 87 rated Marcus Rashford uh, due to the fact that he put in a great performance against Leipzig and I thought that might have earned a road to the final card. Uh, I've put in Carrasco, Morega, Cancelo. I've put two from Man City. I just realised that. I didn't mean to put two from Man City, but I mean... There is two from Man City. Uh, we can we can replace Edison with somebody else, maybe. Uh, I've gone with Pulisic, Verratti, Boateng, Brandt, Longley, Mendy, Milinkovic, Savage, Rabiot, and Firmino. Now, what I've looked at, so I looked at a few different years, and EA seem to give players, uh, sorry, yeah, players in game. Uh, these seem to give cards to players that don't typically get a ton of informs. So if we look at last year's uh, team, the only players in last year's team that went on to get a bunch of informs were Mane and Son, realistically. Uh, players like Dembele didn't get many informs. Um, I think Sancho got a few man of the matches, but it wasn't like he accumulated, we're not including team of the season, by the way. It wasn't like he accumulated a ton of informs. Uh, Edem and Atal didn't accumulate a ton of informs. I think EA are going to try and base it on players that will be meta but won't get you know three four five informs in a year like we'll see for some cards for example uh i don't think uh mendy will get a ton of informs this year so i could see further mendy getting one and he's quite a meta card same with the likes of milinkovic savage or rabio um also looking at last year's uh team they gave a bunch of cards to players that already um have 
inform cards at the time. So Mane already had an inform card. Kante already had an inform card. Uh, Son had an inform card by then. So they actually gave a bunch of uh, cards to players that already had inform. So I went the same sort of theme. I went with, you know, Rashford's already had an inform card. Edison's already had an inform card. Same with Milinkovic, Savic, Firmino. Uh, so I thought, yeah, he might follow the same kind of path and the same kind of routine maybe. Um, but let me know down below if there are any players in here that you think don't deserve one or any players that I've missed out that do deserve one. I can always make a team too uh, for different players. Now, last year, we also got Europa League road to the final cards as well. So we got the likes of Ryan Kent. If you guys remember that, absolutely just... Oh, the pain that that card caused me last year. Uh, we got a Martial in Babu, for example. We actually got Handanovic last year as well um, in terms of a Europa League card. Uh, I know that I showed he was getting a, a Champions League card when they got uh, demoted. Uh, demoted? I think that's the right word. When Basically, when they got knocked out of the Champions, Champions League into the Europa League, their card went from a Champions League road to the final to a Europa League road to the final, which is actually quite a cool touch. We also got Carlos uh, and Vendel went from a Champions League to a Europa League card as well. Now, um, sorry, on the screen is those Europa League cards. I realized they weren't on the screen when I was already talking about them. Uh, we also got the likes of a Jimenez. Um, so this year, what I'm expecting is we're probably going to get maybe two SBCs for a Champions League road to the final and a Europa League road to the final. Then I imagine we'll get a Champions League road to the final objective as well as a Europa League road to the final objective. EA seem to be giving out an SBC and an objective for every single promo so far this year. And I think they'll follow suit with it this year and give us, you know, maybe a... Uh, an Ajax Champions League road to the final player and then in terms of Europa League player maybe a Spurs Europa League player so maybe from Ajax we get ourselves a Tadic for example um, and then from Spurs we could get the likes of a Hoiberg road to the final Europa League which would be pretty cool I think that EA are gonna give us the option to to earn one and do one in the SBC as they have for every promo so I'd imagine that will exactly be the exact same this year which I won't complain about at all, to be honest. EA have been pretty cool this year in terms of uh, the objectives and the objective cards as well. Like, we've had some decent objective cards. They're not just giving us terrible cards that are not worth grinding for. Like, we're getting some very nice cards with some decent upgrades, which I'm a big fan of. So hopefully that continues. But all in all, I'm actually really excited for the promo and I'm excited to see what cards EA bring. I am very much hoping if any of these players, if I could pick one player in this entire selection of players that I have made a prediction for, I think I picked Furlan Mendy. That would be incredible. I'd love to get a Furlan Mendy card. And the great thing about it is if you pack one on tradable, if you just buy one, if you get a good price on one, or if you do an objective for one, that can stay in the club for the entire year and potentially pick up some very, very nice upgrades. If we want to look at previous years, for example, I think a really good example to look at would be this Alejandro Gomez card we got last year. Now, he was an SBC for about 140k. And at the time, everyone thought it wasn't worth it. You know, it's an 87 rate card and they were at the bottom of their group. They went on to be semi-finalist in the, in the Champions League, which got him a 92 rated card. So, you know, he went from this 85 rated card to a 92 rated card, which I think was fantastic. Uh, it was really cool to see the progression. And what a lot of people did was if they completed an SBC like this, they may have forgotten about him in the club and they may have just left him. And then all of a sudden in a few months time, you have a player with like a four or five rating upgrade, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm hoping that EA excuse me, bring out some really good players for this, uh, with uh, this promo. I can't even speak right now. I hope EA bring out some good players for this promo. Let me know in the comments down below who you think EA are going to bring out. And if you're excited for this promo, I know I certainly am. Uh, and thank you all for their big support on the channel. Leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy. Smash that subscribe button if you guys are near around here. I feel a bit cringy saying smash that subscribe button. That's something I never usually say, but make sure to subscribe if you're near around here. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.